Why does my greyhound shatter his teeth? Today in the Greyhound Home Care Channel. For fun and info-packed videos about better living with your pet greyhound, please hit subscribe and tap the bell. You're preparing a meal for your greyhound, and suddenly from behind you there's a clicking sound. Is it a rattlesnake or a skeleton from a scary movie? No, it's your greyhound, his teeth clicking away like a Spanish dancer. Seasoned greyhound owners are used to this behavior, but if you've never had a chatterer before, you're bound to want to know, why does my greyhound shatter his teeth? The great majority of the time a greyhound shatters his teeth, he's doing it as a harmless way to expend excess energy, usually happy excitement, without misbehaving in the house or on the leash. All of my greyhounds have chattered when they're in that state of goofy, high-doggy excitement, during which the typical dog would be jumping, barking, or both. But of course, greyhounds aren't your typical dog, which is why the dog experts who do not know greyhounds get this wrong, wrong, wrong. I wanted to take a closer look at this behavior and see if my experience was typical. What I found was surprising, delightful, and in the case of those experts, a little annoying. A quirky behavior. For many of us, the only chattering dog we've ever seen is Scooby-Doo, so it's easy to see why the first-time greyhound owner would be disturbed to see his dog randomly chattering away. Well, thank heaven for greyhound forums and greyhound home care, of course, where the anxious owner can reach out to greyhound veterans and learn that his chattering greyhound has not seen a ghost. Greyhounds chatter as an expression of great joy and anticipation. In addition to being one of the fastest creatures on the planet, greyhounds may well be the fastest chatterers, too. Your greyhound will show you his little front teeth while he chatters so rapidly it sounds like a drum roll. My dog Peaches would slip behind me while I prepared her food and start doing this. I wouldn't even know she was in the room when she'd give herself away by letting a little chatter escape. Your greyhound too may begin to chatter when he's feeling impatient, waiting for you to prepare a meal or while you're getting ready for a walk. Greyhounds tend to be the most emotionally reserved of all dogs. People often mistake this demeanor for coolness. It's not that they're unemotional, it's just that they don't respond to every stimulus by bouncing off the walls. Greyhounds seem naturally programmed to conserve their energy. Yes, your greyhound sometimes will zip around the room to play or because he's happy to see you, but more often than not, that joy will be expressed by happy chattering. Other reasons your greyhound may chatter his teeth. If your greyhound freezes and stares off into nowhere and begins to chatter, it may be that someone is approaching your home. Greyhounds can often sense this from an amazing distance. My dog Peaches seemed to have that kind of greyhound ESP with regard to my husband returning home from work. His job was about a mile from home, and Peaches would give that thousand-yard stare and, and start chattering reliably 20 minutes before he ever even came home. We worked it out once. She could sense the moment his intention turned toward coming home clearing his desk, grabbing his keys, going to his car. If all that took longer than 20 minutes, Peaches would start crying. It always would turn out at those times that my husband was detained either because he had to run back in for something or had to clean some snow and ice off of his car for a few minutes. When a person who's unfamiliar with a greyhound sees one chattering, he'll often ask, is your dog cold? Although this isn't usually the case, it does happen. Now, none of my greyhounds ever expressed feeling cold that way, but it does happen with other ones. The more common sign that a greyhound is cold is that he'll snowball. In other words, he'll lay down and curl up into a perfect tight little circle. The long legs are drawn up and the paws get tucked into his tummy. He'll thread his long tail through all this and bring the end around so he can drape it over his nose. It's amazing how small he can make himself. If you see a greyhound shivering or chattering from the cold, that means he's very cold. Although this can happen with any greyhound, it's more likely to begin as they age. That's the time to drape a blanket or shawl over your old friend. Make sure it's light and weight. You don't want to aggravate any arthritis he might have. All kidding aside about Scooby-Doo, there are also greyhounds who express fear by chattering their teeth. If there's a thunderstorm brewing and your greyhound lets out a chatter, that's not happy chattering. As with chattering from the cold, this isn't how any of my particular greyhounds ever showed their fear, but other owners have reported their greyhounds doing so. More commonly, the frightened greyhound will freeze and get this weird blank stare. His lower lip may tremble, and he may even let out a little whine. Often they'll tremble silently all over. My first two greyhounds were world-class tremblers, with Peaches as the best overall trembler, and Shannon, at a sturdy 85 pounds, most likely to shake the vet's scale to pieces. For more on shaky greys, go over to greyhoundhomecare.com and check out my article, Why Does My Greyhound Shake? When not to call the vet. 
Speaking of fear and teeth chattering, fear is too often mistakenly cited by these professionals as the most common cause of this behavior in greyhounds. In the 23 years I've owned greyhounds, the most annoying thing is the obnoxious habit some people have of attributing every single quirky behavior in a greyhound to abuse he suffered during his racing career. In the case of teeth chattering, this isn't even a breed-specific behavior. Nonetheless, the old trope is brought out again. This passage comes from PetMD.com. Dr. L.F., a staff dentist and oral surgeon at a prestigious university, says she's seen a lot of greyhounds click their teeth together in, in her, her exam room. Many come from racing backgrounds and may be more nervous in a hospital setting, she explains. As though no other breed of dog ever hates a trip to the vet, especially when they're in so much dental misery that they're visiting a doggy oral surgeon. Or maybe Dr. F. just feels that a show greyhound would be fine in this situation, but not one who's been through the horrors of racing. Regardless of your opinion of racing, it's pretty clear that Dr. F.'s logic has some pretty deep cavities. But the author of the article, at least, is balanced enough to counter Dr. F.'s reasoning. She says... But teeth chattering is not a breed-specific tendency. Dr. W. says she's seen patients ranging from Border Collies, Jack Russell Terriers, and Labrador Retrievers, all the way to Chihuahuas and Poodles, exhibit this behavior. Like humans, a dog's jaw may also click together if the pet is shivering from the cold or has a fever. Dr. W., the other vet cited in this article, is not an oral surgeon, but the owner of an animal hospital. As such, I find her opinion on teeth chattering a lot more well-rounded than the oral surgeon's. After all, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Throughout the article, she covers a wide range of reasons Sorry, why a dog's teeth might chatter. In fact, she even mentioned that it's sometimes seen in dogs who have a high prey drive, a cause that was also noted by a couple of the greyhound owners I researched while writing this piece. Dr. W.'s first reaction to the question, though, is that teeth chattering is just basic, goofy dog behavior that you see more in some breeds than others. So I was surprised when I read on, and the author of the article at PetMD all of a sudden jumped to conclusions like Dr. F. She said, But both experts agree that the most common cause of teeth chattering is oral pain. The pain could be due to an injury, Dr. F. says. Teeth chattering can also be caused by a loss of enamel, which makes teeth more sensitive, or a painful condition like tooth resorption. First, none of Dr. W.'s comments indicated at all that she thought oral pain to be the most common cause of teeth chattering. And at this point, Dr. F. is almost comical. First, she says greyhounds chatter because they're PTSDing from racing, and then she flip-flops and says it's from oral pain. It's as though she suddenly remembered that her original theory wasn't going to do anything to pay the bills at her office. This might sound cynical until you consider how illogical it would be for someone to chatter their teeth while they're hurting. I'm sorry to sound like I'm ranting, but for the health of your greyhound, it's very important to consider others' personal agendas while they're telling you these things. Picture meeting Dr. F. at a cocktail party and casually mentioning how cute your greyhound's teeth chattering is. While she's trying to convince you that it's tooth resorption and slipping you her card and advising you to call her office in the morning, it should be a good time for you to reflect and realize that fearful greyhounds with oral pain are probably the only kinds of greyhounds she ever sees. Not that we should minimize any health problems that crop up, just the opposite, in fact. That's why Greyhound Home Care is here, to help you become informed about your greyhound, including knowing the difference between a symptom and a quirk. Thank you for watching. Please sub so you never miss a new greyhound video. See you next time at the Greyhound Home Care channel.